everybody, my name is Charlie. I have a box of games. I have not done this in a couple weeks. Uh, someone followed back up with me on a what I thought was a lowball offer. I gave them a month and a half ago, and I re-looked at it, and it wasn't as lowball as I thought it was, but figured I haven't done one of these in a while. So uh, let's see. First actual good box I've gotten for games. Um, box I can actually use. Um, so we have mostly Xbox 360 stuff here, plus some hardware that I might not be able to move. Um, we have a Xbox 360 controller charger. It's actually pretty slick. Uh, the, the bad thing is I don't have... Um, bad thing is I don't really use Xbox 360 controllers, but that's pretty slick. Uh, so we'll, I'll probably just throw that in like a $5 bin or something like that. Um, a USB micro. Um, I always need those. I always seem to be missing those, even though I have a billion of them. We have the original Xbox One headset with the thingy. Um, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I need to check that out. Oh, putting the box down. Um, let's check it out. But before we get into that, let's talk about, um, let's talk about how we're doing. Uh, so not a ton has been moving lately, which is a bummer. I've had to relist some stuff because it's been, uh, listed for sale eight times. Um, so my total, total games purchased so far is 389. My total games sold is 51, which seems low. I think there might be some errors in that. Which means I have 338 games. Average value per game is $8.95 according to price charting. Less eBay fees is $7.69. My average cost per game is $2.46. Will that be going up? Let's find out. My average sale per game is $16.16. After eBay fees, $13.90. So lifetime game value is just under $3,500. My current game value is just over $2,500 which means I've sold $824 worth of games. Um, is that checkout? Some E to E. Let me make sure E is... E is how much money I've taken in. Okay. Um, and my purchases are $957, which take out eBay fees, which means I'm $250 in the hole. That includes the $80 that um, I just spent on this bundle. So I'm not spoiling that. Or I am spoiling that. So that's where we're at right now. Um, and when I get hardware, I'm not listing hardware here because I right now I don't feel great about selling it. Um, I've sold a couple PS3 systems. Um, one most went well. Sold a PS2 system, which is also not on here. Um, yeah. And then I also have, I don't use this too much, but I have, I'm starting a rack of every system. I get, I probably have five Xbox 360s now, and this will be number six, but we'll get into it. Let's go over to here. Xbox One headset. Original. Let's see what we got. Head. Xbox One headset. Let's list it, baby. Xbox One headset. All right, we're starting the list it pile. It's saying it's worth 15 bucks. So... Microsoft made so many dumb errors when they launched the Xbox One. One of which was they no longer had a three, any type of standard jack on their controllers. Uh, it was some proprietary thing. It looks like a USB port. It's not. And then they didn't revise that until like three years after where they finally added like a normal headset port. So you had to use something with that proprietary hookup. It's like, Microsoft, you didn't need to do that. No one was asking for that. Just stop. And then PS, PS4 just has the normal headset. And now the Xbox does too, but they have a couple years of the Xbox One where, like, what are you doing, man? Um, next up, we have a really nice Turtle Beach headset uh, with your standard port. Um, I could use this on my current console. I don't think it takes batteries. X32. Uh, we can check this out. Feels good. Uh, I, I don't like the Turtle Beach color scheme. Turtle Beach X32. Um, 
It says it was originally $89.95. Let's just go on eBay and check it out. X3, X32, Turtle Beach. Excuse the sounds of my children. Uh, 14 to 15 bucks. We got one for $8.60. Yeah, nothing I'll sell, but it's a fine thing to have. So I'll make that the, the normal pile. Uh, we got one, two, two standard controllers, one with, oh, I hate these. Uh, these are knob extenders uh, for your pro gamers. Gives you a little bit more um, precision, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know if I love that, but yeah something um i have a ton of xbox 360 controllers this is two more to it honestly i wish i could start getting some wired ones um so those aren't going anywhere next up i have a dual band wi-fi thing for i believe the turtle beach uh oh wow there's a lot going on here um a lot of stuff here for the turtle beach thing that i don't really understand um, that is a Turtle Beach dual band Wi-Fi. I don't know. Uh, at least this Xbox came with a power cord, which I think I've had two now without the power cord, so that's good. Uh, he told me that batteries were leaking inside of this back plate, and so he cleaned it out the best he could, and he put it in a bag, so thank you for that. Then we have a decent looking Xbox 360. Smells good. Non smoking household, which is good. Um, I did not check to see whether it has a hard drive. Let's hope it's a, a 250. Um, this is not the Series E, which was the latest rev. And uh, we are in luck. We have a 250 hard drive, which is always nice to have. Um, even though they do take standard memory now. Um, it feels really good shape. Um, I'm not going to plug it in to see if there's any games in there. And then I have 16 games, so I'll get off my personal eBay thing. And let's check it out. I think a lot of these are going to be stuff that I have duplicates for. I think I bought, the, I put the bid in on this well before I got like 20 copies of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Uh, this has been ported to new systems, but you know what? There's always a need for it. The case is in fantastic condition. I have a feeling the discs are going to be looking good, too. Let's find out. Discs looking good. But it doesn't change the value of the game. Oh, I got a little gouge here. It's no big deal. All right. Oh, oh, eight, 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 five, two, six, eight, four, one. 368. No, excuse me, 415. I'm not going to play my sound effects anymore until I figure out some public domain ones. Is it 22? Assassin's Creed Revelations. Uh, we're going to say it's 480. We'll go. All right, very nice. Oh, 415, excuse me. All right, next up, um, this would probably go for a lot more if um, they wouldn't have added it to um, the Master Chief Collection. It is Halo Reach. Some people say it's the best Halo game. I disagree. Um, I prefer uh, 3 or Reach over this one. Uh, 565. 422. Halo Reach. 565. Um, maybe the worst Halo game. Uh, it is Halo 4. Um, I thought there was some cool story stuff. But the enemies were absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, the last stuff I didn't like in this. Uh, the graphics were just beautiful, man. They really knocked it out of the park. Especially that uh, on the Master Chief Collection. Um, they just did a great job making that thing really shine. So 589. Put it in there. All right, next up. This one will probably be a seller. It is ugh, 
Forza Horizon number one for Xbox 360. We got all that good stuff still included. The disc is probably looking fantastic. Uh, yep, it's looking fantastic. Um, I love the color scheme, the, the neon pink accent. I think that just looks great. 8853 7040452422296, baby. Hell yeah. Um, I, I don't think I'll get that, but it's uh, Horizon 1. 2296. All right, awesome. So we're going to put that there in the cell thing. Um, next up, I have a non standard package and no. Um, oh, we might have a problem. Nope, we don't have a problem. I have a non standard package, but I have both discs. It is Dead Space 2 for Xbox 360. I played this to completion, I loved it. I played it on PS3, I played the first one on Xbox. I don't think it means anything if your game, uh, like the game saves don't transfer anything. There's not like any decisions or anything like that. I've tried to play Dead Space 3 a couple times uh, and just I can't get into it. Dead Space 2. Or Xbox 360, we got 802. We'll go 693 because we're going to consider this loose. Dead Space 2. Uh, people love the remake of the first one. Um, I might try to list this at 8 and just see what happens. I'll leave offers on and just see if someone has played the first remake and they want to play the second one in advance. We'll see how it goes. I wonder how that remake, the first one, did for them. I hope it did well. Um, next up, this one's going to be going for nothing. Well, yeah, it's not going to be going for anything. It's Battlefield 4 for Xbox 360. Let's check it out. Four ninety nine. Next up, maybe I don't know. It's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, which was the last like real Ghost Recon game before they started just making them like open world Ubisoft games. Um, I remember they tried with this game and it just kind of flopped. They tried to do more Call of Duty stuff. Uh, they got single player and co-op. I don't know if I have this in the collection yet. Uh, it is 617. We're going to try to list it and just see if anything happens with it. Because um, I believe it's backwards compatible, which is good. Um... But, um, what was I going to say? What did we say it was? Yeah, they tried, I remember them trying to push this thing into a more Call of Duty direction. Because Rainbow Six is kind of its own thing. I, I really think they screwed up by not having a single player Rainbow Six. Um, Rainbow Six Siege was supposed to be, um, like Rainbow Six Patriots. Oh, this might be interesting. I don't know where this is going to go. It is Elder Scrolls, Scrolls Skyrim, the Legendary Edition. It's been ported to here and back. but And most of those ports do have all the stuff built in, but let's check it. But this isn't the version that came with a bunch of Xboxes. Yeah, 940. You know what? We're going to list it. And that is Skyrim. Rim Legendary Edition. That is what was it? Nine bucks? Just under nine bucks. Nine forty. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, both discs, all the all the manuals and stuff. Very good. All right, let's see what else we got. Ooh, a very nice condition. Target version of Thief. It's interesting. It's the Xbox One version. Steelbook. Okay. Okay, we might have something here. Uh, this game was a flop. Um, the first of quite a few flops for Square Enix. I do not have an instruction booklet. I don't know if it came one. Came with one. Um, I'm assuming it did because it probably had a DLC card in it. Um, but yeah, it just such a bummer for them. Uh, just selling all this... Um, all their Square Enix stuff to... Um, 
embracer group who I don't have a ton of confidence in. Um, right, let's try again. Six six two two four eight nine one four two three seven. Really? All right. Thief Xbox One Steel Book. Steelbook Edition, 1308. Cool. So we'll put that up. 422. Beef Steelbook Edition, 13. Cool. Alright. Um, this guy won't go for much because it's also been ported a ton. Dishonored. Um, we're putting it in there. Yeah, I tried playing Thief. Uh, it was a free game with gold, and I just could not get into it, and it kind of aligned with... Excuse me. Oh, kind of aligned with the reviews where just nothing to grab you. It was kind of blah. Uh, $7. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just start listing more just to get some more volume there. We do have a garage sale coming up, but... Um, maybe I'll, I'll still like sort them or whatever. All right. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This will be worth nothing. Which is one of those games that they ran a ton of copies with. I do love this game. Uh, last, last Assassin's Creed game that I beat, uh, 494. Oops. Next up, Assassin's Creed 3. This is definitely where I fell off of Assassin's Creed. I had no interest. It ran like garbage. The story was super slow. I just was not feeling it. The buildings were small because it's uh, it's the U.S. Uh, colonial times. I thought I was going to be super into it because I love stuff set in America. No, oh, it's Assassin's Creed 3. I think we want to go back and try uh, Syndicate, Assassin's Creed Syndicate again. Um, now that there's like hardware that can run at 504. All right, next up, this guy will be worth some. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. We got the disc, we got the manual. We're feeling good. List this guy, this guy will sell. All right, oh, 04, 7, 8, 7, 5, 8, 4, 3, 8, 5, 1. I don't, I can't believe they haven't remade this yet. 16.92. Wow. Seems like the price is going up. If I didn't have kids to feed, I might hold on to it for a while. Call of Duty 2, oh, Black Ops 2, 16.94. All right, and then this one, I've been looking. Oh, Dead Island? No islands. Uh, so that's a bummer. Maybe it's in the... Maybe it's in the, the Xbox? I don't know. Alright, I got... Oh, here it is. Still looking. Nice. Um, very cool. So it does come with a Steelbook and the original case. So we'll check that out. Let's type it in. Dead Island 2 just came out after like a 10 year development time. Dead Island Riptide. Steel book. 1343. Cool. I will... So, I will buy Dead Island 2 when it goes on sale. Or if it goes on, like, Game Pass or whatever. I just... I'm not paying $70 for a game that's, like, a B game. Like, I don't care how good it is or whatever. Like, that ain't it. And, um... If anything, I'd probably wait for a sale on... Um, the makers of this made something called... Oh, my God. What is it? It's the parkour zombie game. Um... 
Dying Lights. Um, so I would probably go try that. Um, and I missed it. It was a free epic game and I missed it, so that's a bummer. And then finally, um, I don't know what this will go for. Uh, GTA V. I have had this in my collection a couple times. Um, love this game. Played it uh, three times. I've beat GTA 4 and GTA 5. Um, I tried to, get, to go back and play GTA 4 again with all the Xbox uh, One stuff. Ooh, it has all the stuff in it. That's cool. Um, and I just couldn't get into it. They're like the, It was too clunky. Um, and I don't dare have uh, Rockstar go back and remake it because they did such a choppy job on the last ones. All right, 997. All right, cool. Okay, and then we have a really good look at Xbox, a headset, two controllers. Um, I Maybe I'll get into the business of selling those, I don't know. Um, I'll take a look at prices, and I could, yeah, I got like three or four of them that uh, I could sell. But I kind of like having them right now, so we'll see. Um, I don't really want to deal with like packing those up either, because I'll probably get like 40 bucks for them, at, if that. Um, I think they're solid systems, though. So, um, let's see how we did. Again, I paid eighty dollars for all these, uh, and we're going from four oh seven to four twenty one, uh, and it looks like our sum is one thirty seven. Not great. Um, so one thirty seven minus eighty is fifty seven dollars. If I could sell all these for price charting, which I definitely cannot, uh, let's add up the stuff over. We'll go near seven dollars. K K K. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so if I sell the stuff that's around my threshold, to the stuff that I'm going to list on eBay, if I sell it for eBay for these prices, I'm at $92.63, less the 13%. I'm right at that $80, and then I'm adding four games and an Xbox and some accessories to my collection. So not the worst. Um, I mean, I'm not losing money. I, this will be fine stuff for my collection. Um, we're going to list the, the items that are highlighted and... And move some product. And every time someone buys something for me, they check out the other stuff for sale. So um, we'll see. And then let's go back to my eBay real quick and we can take a look. So I got 528 on sold. That seems really high. I got 74 active. What does that mean, 528? Where, oh, relisted. I don't know why... Maybe there's multiple things in here. It's I do not have 528 things on here. Oh, that's like all the relists that have happened. And according to this, I've made $1,243, which I think there's a couple consoles in there. So if you look at my actives, I got 74 active. Um, I got them in two boxes just over here. Uh, it's not out of control yet. Also, uh, because it was on sale, uh, I have, the, I have uh, this Metroid Prime Amiibo set. I'm probably just going to put it up in my office and hold it for a while and just see what happens. Uh, I don't think it'll ever be like worth a ton, but um, maybe one of my kids will be really into Metroid. Maybe I'll use it as a, as a like Secret Santa gift. Uh, I got options. so um, I think that's what I got. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm not hustling quite as hard as I was on this. I mostly need to burn off stock. So we... Um, my mother-in-law is having a garage sale, uh, the second week of May. So I'm going to make like an ad, which I'll put in here, try to get some hype around it and bring some people down there, sell off some of that stock that's under eight bucks. And then here's my plan. Six bucks each or two for 10 or five for 20. That's the deal. So, um, that's what I'm going to push and hopefully we'll burn off. If I could sell like a hundred games, that'd be great. And then I'd be well in the green, and I'd feel better about buying more stuff, and I'd have less stuff in boxes, which would be cool. But feeling good, moving forward, glad you're along for the ride. Let's play this intro.